this tutorial, we will see a quick workaround. If you're using the 2022 version of Premiere Pro, apply Lumetri effect after our effect instead of before. If you're using the 2023 version of Premiere Pro, you can go to the previous workaround video titled Workaround for Premiere Color Shift Issue. This is a quick fix for the 2024 version of Premiere and the 2025 version if you happen to see a color shift. This only seems to be an issue with temporal processing effects. Those are effects that get frames at another point in time, such as here in Real Smart Motion Blur. This doesn't seem to be happening as often in the more recent versions of Premiere, but we wanted to make you aware and show you what to do if you encounter this issue. In the 2024 version, we can simply go to the Lumetri color controls in settings. If you go to viewer gamma and switch it from the default 2.4 broadcast to one of the other options like 2.2 web, it's back to how it worked in previous versions. In the 2025 version, we can go to the Lumetri color controls and settings. This time we go to color setup and select any option except Wide Gamut Tone Map. If none of these options work, try putting Lumetri Color after Real Smart Motion Blur, and in Sequence Settings, set Maximum Bit Depth and Maximum Render Quality to On, and Composite and Linear to Off. 